greetings to viewers all over the world. I'm Manish Sigulam from Mauritius, and uh, I'm here right now at Adulam, Charis Missionary Church. This is my second time at Charis Missionary Church, and uh, I want to tell you that for the first time when I came to Charis, I spoke to the man of God, and he told me that God will use me as a prophet of God. And uh, when I came in February here, I received the grace and I received the covering of the Apostle. I always used to see him in dreams. And uh, now I'm back again at Charis. When I went back to Mauritius from uh, Charis Missionary Church for the first time, and uh, life was not easy. It was as if I, I, was, I was in a well that is empty of water. It was like I was in a hole and nothing was going on well. But uh, God is faithful. God is faithful. I think I, w I was in the wilderness for a training. For I believe that uh, the training of a prophet is a wilderness. So what happened then? Before I came to Charis, I got dreams. I saw the apostle and uh, his wife, uh, Prophetess T. Makananisa. In that dream, I could see there was a pine tree. And part of that tree was dry. Then the prophetess told me, remove this part that is dry. Then I removed it and replaced it with, uh, with a, a good one, a good part. Then I saw the apostle walking and he said to me, should I come to Mauritius? Th then with excitement, I, I replied to him, I said, yes. And I had another dream also, in which I saw the apostle was walking, was passing uh, in front of me, was walking in front of me. And uh, in that dream, when I saw him, I started to manifest in such a way that I was receiving from him. I was receiving something from him. And this happened twice. Then, on, uh, when, then he, came, he, he came to me, he touched my eyes. And when he, when he touched my eyes, I, I could see a great light. It was so big, the light was, was, was very big. It was a very bright light, as if. Then when I met with the apostle on one-on-one, -on -one, he spoke to me. He said to me that now is time for ministry. And he spoke to me that uh, he will be establishing a charis in Mauritius. And uh, I will be the pastor there for charis. And uh, also, he told me that I will prophesy when I go back to my country. He told me also that God has called me to be a prophet. And I believe these, these things will happen because I have the grace. And we here at Charis, we have the grace. No one can stop us. And uh, I believe the people of Mauritius will be blessed by this grace. For this grace is the grace of God that has appeared to all men. And we will all benefit it. So the grace is the grace will flow to Mauritius as well. Let's prepare ourselves in prayer. And even if we have to prepare ourselves in prayer and fasting, so let's do it. Let's receive the grace in fullness. The first time I came to Charis Missionary Church, I met Prophet Andres and the Apostle J.B. Makananisa. We first met uh, in the service. And um, in the service, the Prophet uh, called me by my name. And also telling me the meaning of my of my name, which is uh, Manish, which means God of wisdom, and uh, the prophet also told me about my age. He saw 25 very soon becoming 26, and why he told about why he, he spoke to me concerning my name is because of of what God wants to do with me. The prophet, the prophet told me that uh, my wisdom will not be used in the wisdom of uh, this world, will not be used in the wisdom of books. He told me that uh, I will be, my wisdom will be used in the wisdom of God. And uh, the prophet prayed for me that God uh, will, will anoint me. And he also spoke to me concerning my ministry, that very soon I will be in full-time ministry. When I look at you, let me tell you, when I look at you, uh, I hear that you're supposed to be so much educated. You. Yes. 
Can I tell you why? Excuse me? Can I tell you why? Yes. Because of the name that your parents gave you. Okay. You know, I don't know. Uh, pro, I mean, I'm sure you are Indian. You understand? Do you, can you hear what I'm speaking? Yes. I'm saying, according to your name, the, your name means education, knowledge. Yes, my name Manish. Manish. Yes, Manish means uh, God of wisdom. Mm. <laughs> but let me tell you, uh, because you have been given this name, because I just saw something like Manish, and I had knowledge, wisdom. Your wisdom won't be used in books. <laughs> You know, because sometimes some of our parents, they give us names, ne? hoping that we'll be professors. You know? Your parents are hoping you'll be a professor. Can die. Your, your wisdom is not of books. It's of God. Amen. That's what God wants to do. Amen. You, you'll use your wisdom for God. Amen. You hear me? Yes. Because that's what I saw. You know? So something like that, like M A N I S H, something like that. But there's something I want to tell you, which is the problem of the family. Yes. It's what they are worshiping. Yes. You hear me? Yes. You, God, I was, I was hearing God say, you need to be strong. Are you hearing me? Amen. You need to be strong. You are the person that can remove these people out of this darkness. Amen. You know, because the favor of God is on you. Amen. Even though some of them will look at you and say you are still young, you are not young. You hear me? Yes. You are not young. God will, will remove you out of them so that He will bring the light to these people. Amen. Because the family here now. I was just seeing something like two five, but I was hearing that this year will be two six. Yes, I will be twenty six years old on the fifteenth February. I'm twenty five years old right now. Mm. I was just hearing that is two five, twenty five years, but very soon it will be twenty six. En ce moment, moi, Charis Missionary Church, et mon vini ici, mon zone apo JB Makananisa le one on one. Apôtre, une prière pour moi et aussi une demande qui maintenant c'est l'heure pour me commencer mon ministère et il peut établir Charis Missionary Church à l'île Maurice et aussi il peut établir moi comme pasteur à l'île Maurice pour Charis Missionary Church et sa grâce qui ici à Charis là c'est sa même grâce qui peut qui peut couler à l'île Maurice c'est sa même grâce qui peut mouvoir à l'île Maurice et mon une requête à tout bande mauricien mauricienne qui peut moi mon une requête prier prépare aux autres Prépare aux autres pour recevoir cette grâce. Et si vous avez même jeûner, prier, jeûner, prier, quand la grâce de Dieu y abonde. Et moi, je crois que dans les jours à venir, nous trouvons la puissance de Dieu manifestée dans une grande dimension de l'île Maurice. Et beaucoup de gens peuvent être sauvés. Et moi aussi, je crois qu'il peut y avoir un grand réveil spirituel qui peut frapper l'île Maurice dans les jours à venir. Mais c'est une requête qui m'a à tout le monde, Mauricien, qui peut être moi. Tenez aux autres fermes, priez. Et si vous avez même jeûné, priez, jeûné, priez, préparez-vous pour recevoir. Voilà, dans le nom de Jésus, je vous remercie.